Within this video, we're going to go ahead and install the Twinmotion plugins into Unreal Engine so that we can get stuff from Twinmotion into the Unreal Engine. Now, in this video, we're going to be doing this for Unreal Engine 5, but it's pretty much the same process as of this video recording for Unreal 4.27. So to do this, first thing we need to do is get the actual plugins. So to do that, we'll make sure that we are on the Unreal Engine section. I'm going to come up here into the marketplace, and we'll go ahead and do a search for Twinmotion inside of the search products right over here. Now there's two pieces that we're going to need. One is the data Smith one here, and the other one is this content down here. And I can see I've got both of them. Now I've already installed this one for Unreal Engine 5, but I'll show you what it looks like by going ahead and doing it here as well. So we're gonna click here, and you'll see we have a button here that says install to engine. So I'll go ahead and give that a click. And it's gonna say, which one do you actually wanna install it to? Now I can click this drop down right here, and it will allow me to choose which engine version. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use five. So I'll go ahead and say install. And it's gonna take a minute, so definitely go get a coffee and come back when you're done. Now, while we're waiting for it to do the install, let's go ahead and open up Twinmotion and show you the scene that I'm gonna be bringing over so you can see what works and what doesn't work as of this recording. So over here, I do have a boat, so just zoom in on it. And the vehicle, this boat isn't gonna come in. Uh, we will actually see her floating out there when we get to it. Um, the terrain does come in, which is awesome. And the other thing that doesn't come in are these little animated people that are down here as well. So that's kind of a bummer if you've got those. Uh, the other thing that we'll notice is that there's no lighting in this building when we get into Unreal. So it's worth knowing that some of this stuff works, some of it doesn't. And before we actually go over to Unreal, I do want to just point out that I'm just coming up here to file and just doing a save or a save as and just saving it as a twin motion file. And that's all I'm doing to it. All right, so now let's jump over to Unreal. I've got just a basic third person template here, so nothing special, very much vanilla as it is. So what I'm gonna do is actually create a new folder to actually put all this in, so call it Twinmotion. And this is where I'm gonna actually import in that Twinmotion scene. So to do that, I do need to set up some plugins first. So we wanna come all the way up here to the top right and come down here into plugins. Within here, we'll search for Twinmotion and we'll have two of these. These are the two that we actually just downloaded. And we'll need the Datasmith importer. And you're gonna get a little message that says, hey, by the way, this is in beta, that's fine. We'll just say, okay, for now. And then we actually have our content. And we'll say yes on that one as well. Now, before I hit the restart button, let me talk about what each one of these does. This Datasmith importer will actually allow us to bring in twin motion scenes. The twin motion content is actually all of the twin motion models that are inside of, well, twin motion. And that way you can actually build everything that you wanted to build in twin motion here inside of Unreal. So the second one's really cool. All right, with that explanation out of the way, let's go ahead and do a restart now. I'll pause the video again, of course, because this is gonna take a minute. With the plugins now installed, we can actually bring over that twin motion data. So to make that happen, just come up to this little button right up here, give that a click, and you'll find a section that says Datasmith. For us, what we're gonna do is just import that twin motion file. So I'll go ahead and click the file import, and then navigate to where that bad idea of mine actually is. So let's go ahead and just open that one up. And it's gonna say, where do you want to actually save all this information? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the twin motion folder and go ahead and hit okay. Now we're gonna be greeted with this and it's probably gonna to be totally closed on the advanced one for you. I'm just gonna leave everything as is for defaults. This should work really well. Go ahead and say import. And now it's another waiting game. So we'll let it do its thing and I'll be back in a moment. While you're actually waiting for your level to load in, let's take a quick detour. Now I'm gonna come down here to the content browser and what I wanna show you is where all the twin motion meshes actually ended up. So this is the twin motion content that comes from twin motion, not from the file that we just loaded in. Okay, so if we come over here to settings and we go down here into show engine content, watch over there on the left hand side, you'll see an engine folder pop up. Now I'm gonna also open up the plugin content as well. So nothing's gonna happen, but it actually exists inside of here. So let's open up the engine folder here. And then there's a plugin folder down here now. And if I scroll to the bottom of this and look for twin motion, there it is, twin motion content. So let's go ahead and open this one up and you'll see there's a library in twin motion. If we look inside the library folder, we have characters, furniture, landscape, lights, material, vegetation, right? So let's go ahead and just click on the library one. And then up here in the filters, I've already got it turned on, but if we turn on just the static meshes, we can see that this has all of the foliage, all of the furniture, all of the characters. So this is super cool to see. The other thing that we can do too, is if we go into the characters, we can see just the ones that are gonna stand still. Now these ones don't animate, which is kind of a bummer deal. But if we change this static mesh, let's actually turn on skeletal mesh, turn off static mesh, 
and go back into the library, you can see that we have all of these that are kind of animated. So we've got flags and we've actually got the goats and hey, there's that dog that's right there too. So some of the stuff we can actually animate and work with, but not everything. So down there inside of the twin motion content content, you can grab everything from the actual twin motion application library and bring them into your world. So now that it's actually fully imported, you will notice we have quite a few errors in here. We've got some material instances and a whole bunch of unsupported static mesh things going on in here. So really what this means is that just not everything is going to come across. So let's actually go exploring and see what we can find and what we can't find. I'm going to go ahead and just close this down. So here is that third person template. So we could have just deleted that out here. If we look over to the left, hey, there is that scene. And as mentioned, you will notice our lady over here is actually just kind of floating. So the vehicles didn't come in. Uh, it's nice that the vehicles, or sorry, that the uh, terrain did come in. Uh, you'll notice that the people are not there. Um, the dog is kind of sticking in the ground. Now the dog is a skeletal mesh and you can actually get this critter to actually animate. So the skeletal meshes do come over for some of the animals, but not for the humans even though they're also animals. And you'll also notice if we go over here that it's very dark inside of here. So we will have to reset up a few lights to get that up and running. Now, not every light will actually have this issue. Sometimes they'll come across without any problems. Like you can see this one right here, not a big deal at all. So there you go. You can actually get quite a bit of your twin motion stuff into the Unreal Engine without any major problems. Now, one last little thing that I do want to point out before we go anywhere is if you come up here to the top left where it says perspective, you will notice that all of the cameras that I had created inside the scene do actually exist here as well. So this is very helpful to have just in case you've got something specific set up over there inside of Twin Motion.